everything that you do is governed by fire and fire regulations, whether it's the chair that I'm sitting on or the desk or in the room that we are. Everything is designed around protection of people. Fire is ubiquitous with its environment and where we live in. Companies are recognizing more and more the need for that specific set of skills in their own company. Initially, we'd be hired by an architectural team that's designing a building, for example, and we'd be involved with pretty much every aspect of the building, which would be what it's made of, how big it's going to be, what are the protection aspects, sprinkler, fire alarm, smoke control, and it really drives the building, how big it can be and what it's made out of are significant. The program has filled a huge hole on the West Coast to provide training resources that was never here before. We had a lot of people who would practice on the West Coast from the East Coast and would go back once they got experience. There was this high turnover where now we have highly trained people coming up that are trained from Cal Poly that are making an impact and filling that hole that was here before. What made this program so attractive was that I could take these classes when I had availability, which was usually late in the evenings or lunch breaks and such as that. So I took my classes online and I attended them live when possible. It's a great opportunity if you can attend live because you do get pretty close to that classroom environment, which is nice where you have discussions that are live and online chats, you can talk with other students. I've always enjoyed the connection to practice and academia, and I think it's really good. From academia, we understand our situation and the math better. From practice, we know how to apply it. So the Cal Poly program really gave me an opportunity to really mesh that. There are two tracks of types of courses. There is the fire science courses that you would take. So that involves thermal sciences, that's a beginning introductory course. Fire dynamics, which is we're getting into the really, in the meat of what fire actually is. The uh, faculty that they've put together, they're really here for the right reasons. They're really compassionate about putting the students first and making sure that they get the support they need to go through the program. The professors that we have here make this program the best it can be and really make an impact on the industry for a long, long time after they've retired. And I've been recruiting students since the first graduating class and hired quite a few students. It's that wide range of trying to educate people and that this is an actual industry out there. Here is this wealth of jobs that are out there. You know, you're never going to be lacking to find a position. You will always be valuable versus how many people are going into it. There was this big discrepancy. We're not filling it fast enough. That's what companies are seeing and that's what we hear all the time from our industry partners and the people that walk through and give presentations on their companies and things like that is, is that we have a big need and it's not being filled. And that's the good part is if someone wants to get a degree who likes engineering, likes the math and sciences, they'd be the first person to tell them is maybe you should consider this and see what's out there if you like it or not.